we we're going to go ahead uh, to start. Uh, can uh, uh, Baru? Can you uh, uh, have a, a beginning prayer? <laughs> Okay, we'll close our eyes and we'll talk to God. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you bring all of us here. Lord, you know, we see that your hands in everything, and we know that you're going to carry us through for mm -hmm. whatever that we're facing today. Lord, let us uh, hold on to you and dig into your word to know more about you. Yara, <laughs> your phone is close to your... And hear your words, and then hear your commands, and tell us what to do. We we'll just uh, ask you, your Holy Spirit, to be with each one of us today, especially with Dave, so that you know we can understand what you're going to tell us. Thank you for this time, and thank you for everything you have done for us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hey, um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, let, let me try to get to my, I, I try to put in, uh, yeah, okay, I try to put in this uh, uh, PowerPoint. Um, you know, today, right now, is, um, well, actually, for the Jewish time, is uh, April 4. We, for us, it's still April 3rd, you know, Friday. But uh, because it's after 6 o'clock, uh, so it's a new day. And so it's uh, April 4th, Saturday, which is their Sabbath, right? And, uh, and uh, you know, on that uh, April 4th, uh, it is in the Jewish calendar, is Nisan, the 10th, the 10th of Nisan. You can check it later on, okay? Uh, and then, you know, in the, in the Bible, uh, in the Exodus, on the 10th day of the month, you know, this is what the Lord told Moses to tell the children of Israel. Okay. And uh, the children of Israel, speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, in the 10th day of this month, which is today, now is today, <laughs> they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for an house, a lamb for an house. And then we all know that the Passover lamb, the Passover lamb is Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So this is really, um, you know, I don't know if it's a coincidence. I don't know how you chose uh, Isaiah. But, and then, um, you know, today is, um, today is uh, the, uh, you know, uh, next week, Wednesday would be, would have been the Passover for, for Israel. And really, that is, um, you know, equal to our Good Friday. So today is actually equal to our Palm Sunday. You, you know, um, in the Bible, uh, in Jesus' time and also the Old Testament time, they follow the Jewish calendar. They don't follow the church um, approximate calendar. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you go with Lisan because... Uh, Passover day is uh, the 14 on Nisan, and 14 is uh, kind of like the full moon. You, you know what I'm saying? So it follow the, uh, the uh, you know, uh, the Old Testament calendar is following the Bible, which is using the lunar time, the lunar calendar. Okay, so that is uh, how, how we're going to start today. Just remember, this is a uh, <laughs> in God's uh, plan, in God's uh, way, you know, this is, uh, you know, Jesus uh, is uh, riding a donkey uh, into Jerusalem. That is today. Okay, these <laughs> are. Okay, now, um, before we go to, uh, I'm going to ask, uh, uh, you guys have read the, uh, the uh, chapter already, right? It, because it's pretty long. Did you guys uh, read at all? Hi, hi uh, uh, Pastor Chen. Hello, sorry. Hi. hi. Um, 
how about this? Uh, we're going to ask, uh, uh, you know, uh, a few people to read, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, the passage. And, uh, you know, a few words is our time. Okay, we start at the uh, oh. verse 5. Uh, uh, to seven. Can I ask uh, Pastor Chen to read uh, verse five to five, uh, verse seven? Okay, yeah. Sorry, my internet is quite slow. I may not uh, able to catch you right away. Okay, sorry. So, we are going to read uh, Isaiah chapter 10, right? Right. It's also on the screen. Okay. Okay, verse 10, I mean, chapter 10, verse 5. Yeah. Uh, Woe to the Assyrian, the roll of my anger, in whose hand is the club of my wrath. I sing him against a godless nation. I dispatch him against a people who uh, ang anger me. Oh, uh, yeah, finish uh, 6 and 7. 7, too. Hello. Intense. This is not what he has in mind. His purpose is to destroy, to put an end to many nations. Yeah, thank Where's you. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, and, uh, you know, because it's a pretty long, uh, uh, you know, uh, so we're going to read, uh, you know, a few verses, and then we're going to go over it, okay? And then okay. Uh, we, we're going to uh, get summary. Um, so the first verse is, Woe to Assyria, the rod of my anger, and the staff in whose hand is my indignation. Okay? Now, uh, in previous time, uh, we're, uh, chapter 7, 8, and 9, uh, you guys already studied it. And I didn't get to... Uh, uh, except uh, uh, last week uh, we covered chapter 9 uh, with Baruch. and uh, But you guys already know uh, he was, the law was angry with who? Was angry with uh, the Lofton Kingdom. Uh, the Lofton Kingdom, you know, he, he was angry with because Assyria is the uh, instrument of punishment. In uh, Cantonese, is tan tanjil, <laughs> right? Woe to Assyria. Now, instead, you know, he also get mad at uh, Assyria now. Okay, we'll we see what happens. So, Assyria is the rod of my anger. And in chapter 7, the Lord will bring the king of Assyria upon you and your people and your father's house days that have not come since the days that Ephraim departed from Judah. So this is addressing, this is addressing um, the Lofton Kingdom. You know, the Lord is going, was going to use, uh, is going to use um, King of Assyria to punish the Lofton Kingdom. So Ephraim, the Samaria, the Samaria is the, uh, uh, the capital of Lofton Kingdom, right? And all the Lofton Kingdom, um, the, all the kings were no good. They all, you know, um, you know, worship some idols. You know, they say they, 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 they worship the Lord, but in the meantime, they worship idols. And um, so, you know, that was uh, already pronounced um, in uh, chapter 7. And, and so that portion has to do about... He's going to send the, uh, 
the uh, Syria uh, layer B. And then the Egypt is supposed to do the defense like, like a football game. And the bees uh, will attack from Assyria. And the fly is coming from the Egypt. And they're going to all end up in their pastures, you know, in the middle. And, um, and then, you know, uh, by the end, you know, the king of Assyria will shave all the hair. <laughs> Right, remember that you you guys have uh, studied that uh, you know probably two or three three weeks ago, right? My root, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, so you know, originally seven, eight, and nine, you know, he was not talking about uh, punishing Assyria, but now it's uh, Assyria's turn. <laughs> okay. Now his original assignment. Not talking about God, uh, well, uh, chapter 10, verse 6 to 7. Um, you know, can someone uh, read this? How about, how about uh, Wayne? Verse 6 to 7? Yeah. On, on the, also on the screen. Uh-huh. Okay, ready for my Bible then. Okay. I sent him against a godless nation. I dispatch him against the people who anger me to seize brood and snatch plunders and to trample them down like mud in the street. But this is not what he intends. This is not what he has in mind. His purpose is to destroy, to put an end to many nations. Right. Yeah. Okay. We, this is a second reading. Now, uh, you know, the hymn is king of Assyria. The ungodly nation was Israel, the lofton kingdom. You know, so God is using the king of Assyria to, you know, to punish, uh, you know, the lofton kingdom, right? So, you know, that's the people of my wrath. And uh, so the king of Assyria will take charge of that and take over the spoil, capture them, make them captive, make them slaves and then tread them down like mud on the street, right? And um, yet, the king of Assyria did not... Um, well, he did, he did it to Samaria, he did it to Israel, but he did much more. He wanted to hurt everybody, you know, not just one or two, you know. He wanted to, you know, wipe out everybody. So, you know, the, so the ungodly nation was originally the Israel, the Lofton Kingdom. But yet, you know, that means what, right? And then, you know, he, you know, his heart, you know, the king of Assyria is, uh, you know, thinking out loud, you know, or, or you know, he, he uh, have shown his intention. And, um, you know, he just wiped out everybody. So that's what, uh, what he planned to do. So, uh, verse 8 uh, through 11, can someone read that? Um, really? Can you read that? Sure. Are not my commanders all kings, he says? Has not Calno fared like Carchemish? Is not Amos like Arpad? <coughs> and Samaria like Damascus? As my hand sees the kingdoms of the idols, kingdoms whose images excel those of Jerusalem and Samaria, shall I not deal with Jerusalem and her images as I dealt with Samaria and her idols? Thank you, really. Um, so this, he still is talking about Assyria, you know, the king of Assyria, right? Now, so you know he is he is uh, really thinking out loud, you know, and then uh, I say wrote that down, you know, his uh, his uh, thinking, right? So he's saying, well, you know, this Kano, Kano, Kamish, Hamath, Abed, Samaria, like Damascus, you know, I I'm gonna, you know, I did all of them, you know, it's okay, you know, it's easy, and but then you know the trouble comes because 
the way he see it, you know, those are, you know, kingdoms that worship idols, you know, their, their gods are no, not that good, you know. And, and then he mentioned Jerusalem. Now that the Lord did not send him to hurt the people of God. You know, the Lord sent uh, King of Assyria as an instrument of punishment, right? Uh, for Israel, for the Lofton kingdom, for their sins. But, you know, he, he's, he, you know, say, well, I don't care. You know, I, 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 I cover everybody. So, you know, he mentioned Jerusalem twice on the, you know, on two verses on 10 and 11. Then Mary, so, you know, he's equating, you know, say, Jerusalem is mine and Mary is mine. I can do it to them. You know, if I have done it to Samaria, I can do it to Jerusalem, right? Now, that is the trouble. Now, let me ask you this so far right now. Uh, you know, we talk about the king of Assyria. And what do you think? You know, because uh, all the Old Testament, all the Old Testament, uh, all these uh, things that happened in the Old Testament times, uh, they are pictures. They are lessons. They are they are uh, some kind of God's word to to give us something. It's not just a uh, all history of uh, the Jews or history of Israel. Hey, it's interesting, you know. It's not for that. I mean, it's for that, but you know, uh, to to the people of the world. But it's not just for that. So, what do you think the king of Assyria represents? Well, uh, think about this way. Um, this king was uh, told by um, the law to, uh, uh, you know, uh, punish Israel, you know, which, you know, a lot of times uh, worship the idols. But Apparently, you know, he's not uh, limited to himself to, to do that. He, he wants to punish. He wants to rule over the whole world at, in their time, right? The king of Assyria, you know, basically is like Hitler or, or, or one of those dictators. And then, you know, he uh, rule over, he wants to rule over the world. Now, in, in, uh, in the uh, uh, gospel, and in the New Testament, you know, who is the ruler of the world? Satan, huh? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Satan. Well, the thief come to steal, kill, and destroy. He, he doesn't care if you are God's people or the world people. You know, you know if he has a choice, he wants to hurt everyone because he is the ruler of the world, you know, why right now, right? So... That's why, you know, all these sickness, all these disasters, all these troubles in the world, because, oh, yeah, well, the world is a fallen, fallen world because of the sin. And so Satan gets to be the ruler of the world right now, because, you know, the law, the law cannot just save anybody. Uh, a nurse, they, they come to him as a savior. So, you know, right now, you know, like, like you look at the world, you know, you know, uh, the, the world is um, having, uh, well, you know, whatever is go going on, and you guys know. And, um, you know, he, he, does a, he, he is not limiting himself to, uh, uh, to the uh, unbelievers. You know, uh, today, Sacramento B, you know, talk about, hey, you know, the churches have, um, you know, something like uh, uh, more than 100 in uh, Sacramento County or something. Uh, more than 100 uh, that um, they have the, you know, corona, right? So, you know, we, we all know that. Okay. Now, if you think about that, that is really um, amazing. Uh, you know, this is uh, what King of Assyria said. But if you think about that, this is, uh, you know, you can also say this is uh, like um, uh, the... Uh, the devil say, you know, to himself, you know, are not my commanders all kings, you know, because, um, you know, if, if my commanders, my generals are kings, that means, you know, he's implying himself is like king of kings, 
you know, Satan always like to copy the God, the Lord. You know, so so you know, you know, we 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 have the our Jesus is the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. So you know, this uh, King of our Syria is calling himself. Hey, I'm not my generals or all kings, you know, like, like, you know, they can do anything. They can kill anybody. They can, you know, do all, what, whatever evil they do. You know, that's, that's what the king of Assyria said. Because the king of Assyria is also under the devil. I mean, they, they are in the, uh, you know, in the ancient time, in the unbelieving world. And so, you know, uh, even though God allow him to be used to uh, to punish uh, you know because uh, the God's law require judgment but you know that is the limit of, of Satan's um, uh, power because uh, you know um, you remember you know in the uh, New Testament time uh, the law saw you know uh, the in the Old Testament, the one that is have control over the death, the power of death, is Satan, right? But, you know, now, you know, because uh, we belong to the Lord, so, you know, we are in a different kingdom, you know? So there's a different story, okay? But going back, do you notice that they have six cities? It mentioned six cities right there. Right, the six cities, you know, whenever six um, in the Old Testament time, you know, when six is mentioned, or if for that matter, even in uh, Revelations, you know, six, uh, it is the number of men. Well, because Antichrist is what? What's the number for Antichrist? Six, six, six. Yeah, there you go. So, you know, because Antichrist is also a human, you know, see, Christ become uh, son of God, become son of man. So, you know, Jesus is both God and son a man now, right? You know, so he wants to identify with us. So Christ is also a man. So Antichrist is also a man. You, you understand? You know, the devil is, is you know, their, 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 their head. But, you know, he, he is going to have an Antichrist against uh, uh, the, the world, right? And so the Antichrist is 666. So, and then in that uh, particular explanation in the book of Revelation, six is the number of men, right? Okay. Yeah. So, so when six cities is mentioned, you know, this is very interesting, you know, particularly in Old Testament time, you know, six cities is mentioned, you know, that, that is that hint that, um, you know, that is the, you know, of the world. Okay. Now, but anyway, so he has exceeding his boundary. You know, that is uh, very typical. So this is, uh, you know, originally I was going to go over, you know, all these names and Kelno, um, Kalkamish, uh, Hammer, Arpad, Damascus, and Samaria. Now, of course, you recognize all those cities. Well, Damascus, you know, is the same Damascus that, um, you know, of Syria, okay? Samaria is um, uh, the Lofton Kingdom uh, capital, right? That's why uh, Israel, Lofton Kingdom is also called Samaria or Evin, right? Hamaf is uh, now is called Hom. You know, remember, you know, when um, the last few years uh, they were fighting, fighting at Homs. There's uh, one of the ancient cities that, um, you know, they're fighting against each other. You know, and Arpad is uh, you know near the uh, near the border of Turkey, so uh, you know all these cities uh, were, was in the Syrian war. Kalkam is also. Well, anyway, so from Kalkano, all all those cities can be identified, but you know, basically, King of Assyria is thinking like its overlord, the devil. You know, he, he wants to rule over all the world. <laughs> all right. That's um, the man's thinking, you know. So uh, we just discussed the Assyrian king. And, you know, in picture, spiritually, 
he represents the devil, you know, which is the ruler of the world. Now, and we, you can also see, now when they come and invade, you know, uh, and um, uh, attack uh, Judah, and it is just like today, you know, because uh, the, the, the ruler of the world, the thief come to steal, kill and destroy, right? And uh, so, you know, what's, what's happening in those days, uh, you know, uh, it is uh, applied today also. Okay, and uh, 13, 14, um, can uh, Claire uh, read for us? For he says, by the strength of my hand, I have done this. And by my wisdom, because I have understanding, I remove the boundaries of nations. I plundered their treasuries. Like a mighty one, I subdued their kings. As one reaches into a nest, so my hand reached for the wealth of the nations. As men gather abandoned eggs, so I gathered all the countries, not one flapped the wing or opened its mouth to chirp. Wow. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, this is still talking about King of Assyria, you know, talking about, you know, how he sees himself, right? Now, this is very interesting. You know, this is, um, uh, you yeah, know, let's go over to the next one. You know, he's using something like my hand, my wisdom. I, I remove, I plunder, I bring down my hand and I have gathered. You know, okay, well, so this is I, me, my mind, right? You know, this is, you know, uh, the ultimate, you know, um, uh, self, uh, self-righteousness, right? So, you know, the, uh, and, and this is not just uh, the king of Assyria. In fact, you know, he is just reflecting, you know, uh, his, his, his father, you know, the devil, you know. But also, in a way, you know, you look at the world, you know, that's how, you know, the world people see themselves. You know, that's uh, like before we, we, we uh, came to see Jesus and find out, you know, he has a righteousness of God. And, and so, you know, all the unsafe people um, is, is thinking like that, you know. So this, this is describing uh, King of Assyria, but you know, you, you talk, you, you, you're basically seeing, you know, that, that is um, why, you know, the rule of the world will rule them, you know, because um, that is how, you know, the world people think of themselves too. Uh, we, we have to move on because, uh, you know, we have a uh, very long passage. <laughs> okay, uh, 15 to 19, uh, who is going to read? Donald? Okay, sure. 15, does the axe raise itself above him who swings it, who swings it or the saw boast against him who uses it? as if a rod were to whale him who lifts it up, or a club banish him who is not wood. 16. Therefore, the Lord, the Lord Almighty, will send a wasting disease upon his sturdy warriors. Under his pomp, a fire will be, will be kindled like a blazing flame. The light of Israel will become a fire, their holy one a flame. In a single day, it will burn and consume his thrones and his bri briars. The splendor of his forests and fertile fields, it will completely destroy as when the sick man wastes away. And the remaining trees of his forests will be so few that a child would write them down. Wow. Yeah, that is really uh, uh, something. Well, you know, on verse 15, you know, um, this is still talking about <laughs> the king of Assyria. So now on, 
on 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 this picture we are seeing hey you know supposedly the X cannot boast the rod cannot wheel the staff cannot leave you know it's really the man right the the workman you know that that's uh, over the X the workman is over the rod you know it's like God is over the devil or, or man God is you know but but instead you know the you know uh, the lower uh, you know king of Assyria you know say hey you know I can do this I can do that you know no one can be against me right you know so so you know the the you know these are uh, eggs this rod this staff it's uh you know working against the the, the workman the, the master workman you know and and so you know therefore you know so this is linked together therefore the Lord God right will send sickness sickness uh, you know uh, and then it would be like burning of fire wow you know this burning of fire sickness fire you know and and then so you know the whole forest would would uh, would actually get get devoured, destroyed, and waste away, and then the left would be not much, you know, that a child can weigh them down, you know. Wow. Uh, so you know this is uh, now. Uh, in uh, in Hebrews, you know, there, there's a mention of God is a consuming fire. So, you know, you deal with God and then, you know, you think you can get away, you know, Satan um, actually no, but he's still because of uh, man's own righteousness or, you know, his own, you know, self-right, you know, he's um, still trying to do it. Now, you notice, you know, in the forest, also this is in the first Corinthians, uh, chapter three, you know, we talk about, uh, you know, um, for the believers now. The believers uh, are supposed to build on the foundation, which is Jesus, you know, uh, his work, right? And then they are, you know, gold, silver, and precious stone, and wood, hay, and straw. But, you know, in one day, in one of those days, you know, it will be revealed by fire. Now, what, what are the two type of things? One is the gold, silver, precious stone, which is the uh, inframable and then the wood hay straw is the frameable you remember last year you remember last year Easter uh, there was a cathedral in uh, Paris Notre Dame. Notre Dame you know it was uh, exactly uh, you know the Easter and 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 you, you remember what happened what happened was that there was a great fire and then no one could stop it and then all the all the roof uh, is made from big wood tree. I mean, uh, oak, uh, you know, ancient oak, seven hundred years old or, or longer. I don't know. And and then they, so they all burned down the roof, but the but the wall actually still stand. You know, they they might collapse. You know, one day, but um, they are still standing. You know, yeah. that that is the big fire. Like the big fire, that is like a first Corinthian chapter three. So, so um, you know, uh, so we going back. You know, you you are. This is uh, what some of those uh, pictures, you know, the Bible pictures about. You know, that God is a consuming fire, but you know, man, uh, you know, a lot of time, men are like trees. You know. When they pose against each other, you know, then they say, "Oh, you are Cypress, you are you are this, and you are that." You know, so uh, they 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 you know, man says wood, you know, so um, you know that's why uh, we are like grass or we are like wood, um, you know, and uh, you know that's why you know we see other people's uh, locks in their eyes, you know, lock is a very big lock, you know, so we see our other people's wood, you know, and then uh, we we don't worry about you know our our spec, you know. <laughs> Or locks actually the other way. <laughs> okay, um, 10, 20 to 22. Who else I have not read? Yeah, giraffe. <laughs> okay, uh, verse 20. In that day, the remnant 
of Israel, the survivor of Jacob, will no longer rely on him who struck them down, who struck them down, but will truly rely on the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. A remnant will return, a remnant of Jacob will return to the mighty God. Though your people be like the sand by the sea, Israel, only a remnant will return. Destruction has been decreed, overwhelming and righteous. And righteous. Oh, well. Uh, so, uh, thank you. Thank you, Gerard. Um, you know, this is very interesting. This is really interesting uh, passage, you know. Um, there's a lot of pictures. Now, uh, you know, you know, what he's saying is basically, you know, uh, you know, not, um, you know, there would be some hurt, some, you know, but uh, there would be also some survivors, right? This is all talking about the Old Testament, of course. Uh, not talking about us, okay, well, yeah, let, let's think, think for that for a moment, and then we'll talk more about that. You know, in, uh, in, uh, in, in Bible, a lot of times when uh, the law in the Old Testament or New Testament time, um, whenever a term or a name is repeated twice, or a word is repeated twice, you know what that means, right? When, when uh, a word or a name is repeated twice, it's like, you know, two witness, uh, you know, certifying something, or maybe it's an emphasis, you know, it's an emphasis. Like, you know, when, when he called uh, Moses, Moses, or Saul, Saul, you know, um, you know, many times, you know, when, when you know, uh, or, or like, like Jesus, you know, he would say, truly, truly, right? Uh, when, when, you know, someone, uh, uh, you know, when, when the Bible, you know, say something repeated twice, you know, that is, that is something of importance or, um, you know, you have to pay attention or that is significance. Now, what is the uh, one of the term that was repeated twice? And uh, if you look at the screen, this is the term. A uh, remnant will return, and a uh, remnant of them will return. You know, they they are basically the same term. A uh, remnant will return. You know, in chapter seven, um, I don't know if you remember that chapter seven, uh, or maybe you have discussed it. I don't know. Uh, chapter seven. That, that term is in the original Hebrew. Any anybody know about that? Okay. Uh, you know this is what we talk about, right? A remnant will return. Okay. Uh, later on, we're going to we're going to uh, uh, study that thing about what it means. Okay. But moving forward, all this in chapter seven, uh, the destruction of Samaria, the northern kingdom. And then later on, the destruction of uh, Assyria, uh, you know, uh, particularly the uh, Assyria won't happen for another 30 some years. You know, it, it's not the uh, Ahaz time, you know, when uh, 7, 8, 9, 10 is a prophecy in uh, the King Ahaz time, right? You remember that Ahaz? Uh, but the invasion of uh, Judah and uh, uh, you know and uh, against uh, Jerusalem is in Hezekiah time so it is um, you know uh, something like a generation apart you, you understand okay now so uh, so I say a uh, seven eight nine ten is a prophecy even for them it's a prophecy okay uh, it will be prophecy in some part for us too, but uh, well, let's think about their prophecy first. It's a uh, seven, eight, nine, and ten is a prophecy. Now, what? When did that happen? When did uh, the actual prophecy become history? Okay, this is what happened. Uh, when none will return, right? We have these two verses. Now, in chapter seven. That's how it happened, okay? Uh, the law told Isaiah, Isaiah was young then, 
you go out, you go meet the king of Judah, right? Ahab. You and Shear Yasu, your son. Meet Ahaz at the place called at the end of the conduit of the upper pool on the highway to the fuller's field or watcher's field. Okay, this is the this is chapter seven, verse three. Okay, you 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 understand? Okay. You know what? If you read the original Hebrew, I mean the Hebrew language, you know, uh, we, we're going to show it later on. Sure, Yashub, uh, either J, in J or Y, Y, Yashub, you know, it, it should have been Yashub because the uh, uh, Hebrew word don't have J, don't have Jesus, you know, it's always yes. Yeah, so it's Yashub, right? Yashua, right? So uh, they, they have Y, they don't have J, okay? So Sure, Yashub, means a when one will return. You understand? So Isaiah have two sons. And the older son is called Shir Yashu. And then the Lord told Isaiah, you go to see the king, you and your older son. Shir Yashu, uh, you know, meet, uh, meet uh, the king, you know, over there. You know, he, he's going to be there, right there. And then, and then, um, so you know, this is uh, what chapter seven verse three said. Okay, now keep in mind that that's son's name, Chir Yashub. Okay, and then you know, you look up the uh, strong confidence that is Chir Yashub. See that? Hello, are you guys? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> are you guys sleep? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Shir Yashu means when we return. So his son, his older son is called Shir Yashu. And, uh, and it means when we return. Now, uh, I'm telling you, you know, this is crazy. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of stuff in it, okay? And it has meaning for them and for us, even that time. When we return, there's one of the son, the older son, okay? Now, so what that means? What that means is, in chapter seven, verse three, you know, we just read that. You know, the Lord said unto Isaiah, go meet the king Ahaz, the king of Judah, with your son, Shir Yashub, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool in the highway of the water stream, of the fuller stream. That's chapter seven, verse three. That is prophetic. That is a prophecy for them in their generation. So for, for Isaiah have the prophecy and then later on it come to fulfillment, the history in chapter 36. And the king of Assyria sent Rakshakat from Lachish to Jerusalem unto King Hezekiah, not Ahaz anymore, King Hezekiah and a great army. And then he stood by the conduit of the upper pool in the highway of the water field. See that? Yes. Say it again, please. Uh, what, what's the chapter? 36. Uh, 36, verse 2. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. So, so Isaiah, in his lifetime, he prophesied something, you know, and then in his old, older age, he saw it coming. And, and all the generation, the whole generation saw that too. You know? So they, they know Isaiah is a you know, great prophet all his time. <laughs> so uh, there's a lot of stuff in it. Yes. Now, uh, well, let's move on and we, we're going to go back to uh, share Yashub again, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, verse 24 to 27. Who, who hasn't uh, read this yet? Anybody? Volunteer. <laughs> 24 to where? Uh, 24 to 27. Okay, I'll try. Yeah. There, therefore, this is what the Lord God Almighty says, O oh, my people who live in Zion, do not be afraid of the Assyrians who beat you with a rod and lift up a club against you as, as Egypt did. Very soon my anger against you will end and my wrath will be directed to their destruction. The Lord Almighty will lash them with a whip, and when he strikes 
down Midians at the rock of Oreb. Oreb. And he will rise up his staff over the water as he did in Egypt. And that day their burden will be lifted from your shoulders, their yoke uh, from your neck, and your yoke will be broken because you have grown so fat. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, well, okay. Uh, this, this is really good, uh, you know, um, I, you know, of course, um, I, I didn't learn all this, um, you know, for so, so long, you know, I, I, I mean, I just learned this, um, you know, last uh, few, you know, um, weeks or days, you know, and um, so, you know, I, uh, I'm really amazed, wow, you know, the Lord is so good, you know, uh, anyway. Uh, so verse 24, he said, Oh, my people who dwell in Sion, Sion, actually, I, I, I found out uh, the, 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 the Jews in Israel, they, they don't call themselves Sionists, they call themselves Sionists. So it's Sion. Be not afraid of the Assyrian when they strike with the rod and lift up their staff against you as the Egyptian did. So, you know, he, the Lord was reminding them uh, you know, in the past, there was a lot of, um, uh, you know, help that come in time. Um, come in time, you know, uh, like the Egyptian time, like the uh, Indian time, you know. And, and so, you know, uh, all these uh, reference is, uh, you, you can go back and, and uh, ponder on it, right? But he, he mentioned something like, oh, my people who dwell in Zion. And and we all know that Zion is what? Like Jerusalem, right? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So Zion, who dwell in Zion, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Okay, that is part of the prophecy. So, you know, it, he is like as if, you know, he is saying, hey, you know, in the time to come, like 30 years, you know, he didn't say what year, but... Um, but that when that happened, you don't have to be afraid of the Assyrian. You know, yes, they will strike with rod, and uh, you know it will hurt. And then you know, like the Egyptian, you know, so those pains, those sufferings are, are true. Were true. It's not like you know they won't. But the law, the law is with you, and be not afraid of the Assyrians. Be not afraid of the devil. Be not afraid of this. Statement. Yes, you know, those things could happen and will happen, okay? But this is the promise of the Lord. Now, you remember in time of Jesus, when he, um, before he came to, went to the cross, he, um, in the upper room, you know, he said, um, well, he was uh, with uh, the disciple in, in Sion, right? In the upper room in Jerusalem. And then a uh, peace I give unto you. Right, peace, right? Now, and so, you know, and then he mentioned 25, 26, 27, and all have some meaning. Oh, my people who dwell in Sion, be not afraid, fear not. You know, that's what, what in the upper room, you know, he, Jesus told uh, his disciples, fear not, right? And then I will send you, uh, you know, the, the, the helper. And then, for in a little while, my fury will come to an end, and my anger will be directed to their destructions. My fury is not against God's people. That's talking about the law. God is not against us. The anger will be against the, 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 the destructor. Because why? What happened? Why, what, what make us different? Because Jesus already paid. Jesus paid, you know, not just for the sin, you know, he's already paid, you know, he, he has suffered so much, right? He son of God didn't have to uh, suffer so much uh, punishment. Uh, you know, if, if he just paid for our sin, you know, all he has to do is die like a lamb. You know, they kill the lamb silently, you know, uh, just let the blood out and then the lamb is gone, you know, very humane. But Jesus get all these punishments, sufferings, you know, crown of thorns, 
you know, his mental torture in, uh, you know, Gethsemane. And, um, you know, the blood, you know, fall like the sweat, you know, the sweat like your blood, you know. And, um, you know, so, and, and then strike and upon strike, you know, and, and uh, all the insult, everything. So Jesus already paid. So God's fury is not against us. Okay, and then and the Lord twenty six, the Lord's host will will against them, against them. You know your enemy, not you. Your enemy is the devil, is the disease, is the trouble. You know, you 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 are not God's enemy. You are already uh, paid, and you are already in God's kingdom. Okay, yet when he strike medium, right. At, uh, at, at the uh, walk of Horeb, you know, there's a Gideon uh, story. And his staff will be over the sea like Moses. And he will leave it as he did in Egypt. Right? All right? So Jesus is with you. And who can be against you? You know, okay? So you already pay. You already have the position. You are with the Lord. And then Jesus is with you. And... Um, you know, yeah, you know, you might have trouble, you have good time, bad time, you know, but he is with you, you know, and then you know that he's going to take care of you. And then verse 27, and in that day, now there's one day, you know, one day, his burden will depart from your shoulder. His burden is the devil's burden, you know, and well, you know, he's, you know, uh, God is talking about, uh, the Assyrian, you know, yeah, you know, just in one day, suddenly, you know, all this uh, suffering, all this pain, all this uh, slavery, all this um, uh, overlord, you know, they're all gone. You know, Jesus free you. So there's a promise to the people of um, Judah, but it's also Jesus' promise to us. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> now, so we talk about the six cities, you know, because that's the, I, you know, the, um, the uh, devil's talk, you know, six, everything, six, you know, man's power, you know, I by my power, you know, by, you know, man, man is number six, you know, um, you know, the blood, I mean, the fresh, the fresh is number six. Now, uh, this is talking about in Judah now. Still in the prophecy. Uh, someone going to read that? Just volunteer. <laughs> First, twenty-eight to thirty-two. They uh. enter Ayah. They pass through Mikron. They store supplies at Mikmash. They go over the pass and say. <laughs> We will camp overnight at Geba. Rama trembles. Gabea of Saul flees. Cry out, O daughter of Galim. Listen to Laisha. Poor Anatha. Madmana is in flight. The people of Geban take cover. This day they will halt at Nob. They will shake their fist at the mount of the daughter of Zion, at the hill of Jerusalem. Mm. Uh, thank you, really. <laughs> now, uh, those were city states, those were countries, but these are the Bible villages. All these are Bible villages, you know. Something happened uh, in most of them, many of them. I couldn't recognize all of them, but. Um, uh, they are all nearby villages that, you know, something happened before in the Bible, okay? AI, AI, you know, uh, that's uh, Georgia where he, uh, his army uh, lost the first, uh, the second battle. You know, uh, Jericho was the great victory and then, you know, AI, AI is the ancient, ancient uh, little uh, hamlet, you know. And then the other one, Big Bash is uh, Jonah. You know, I mean, uh, Jonathan, Jonathan did, um, uh, you know, cross over the chasm, the, the ravine, 
to uh, to kill you know a, a number of people, and then uh, they have won a great victory, you know. So uh, Gibeah, you saw, you know. But all this, all these times, all these times, is not Zion. You know, you, you understand what I'm saying. You know, all these times, you know, at one time were of a great uh, story, and uh, something God have done, or something man has done. You know, whatever. You know, and and so you know there, there was a, uh, you know, um, you know something you you can study it and things like that. But you know all this time is trembling. They they saw the army, they saw the uh, uh, you know the roofness of of the enemy, and um, so they they uh, you know, I mean they 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 were all scared. Right, and but in the end, you know, of course, uh, you know, oh, yeah. it's, it's, not just, it's not just the villages. Uh, they want to take Jerusalem so that the whole country would fall. You know, if if the capital is not taken, then you know, um, it's not the war is not won. Okay. Now in the Old Testament times. Um, Every time, you know, like, like David killed Goliath. So all it takes is, you know, like one against one, you know, sometime, you know, you have a representative and uh, sometime you eat the king, you know, if the, if the, if the high priest is no good, then uh, that generation was not blessed. That year, you know, they're going to have a bad uh, harvest, right? Because, uh, you know, no one to pray for you. And uh, so, you know, they, they have. They don't have a you know a young keeper you know to to atone for the sin, and so you know the the even if um you know all these uh you know uh, little guys you know they you know they you know there's the old testament okay yeah so it's an encirclement it's an encirclement you know so so there's a lot of fear you know because um, you know they say hey you know. We the little guys, you know, we cannot fight against the disease, and we have no idea, you know, and uh, and uh, they say, oh, I I know this, I know that, you know, but um, you know, turn out, you know, all this, um, um, well, I mean, we appreciate the doctors' work, we appreciate the hospital, we appreciate, you know, uh, because um, you know, God used them too, to to uh, help uh, heal people, but. You know, the fact of matter is, you know. David, I can't hear you very well. Huh? Are you ready? I think uh, I can't hear you very well. I cannot uh, hear well. Oh, okay. So, so I have to speak louder then. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what happened was, you know, when by the time they reach out to Jerusalem. They already encircled the whole place. There's no way out. Do you guys see it? You know, yeah. they, uh, the, the last uh, <laughs> again, is Lake, Lake, or Lakeish. You know, this, uh, this is uh, the more common spelling, Lakeish. And uh, so, you know, the, the, the great army, you know, uh, you know, 30 some years later, uh, you know, came to Jerusalem to, to meet with uh, Hezekiah, you know, it's already surrounded. Yeah, it's already surrounded. You know, there's no way out. So, you know, there's a lot of fear. It's like, you know, when the disease is coming, you know, like the corona is coming, you know, people are in fear. They say, hey, you know, wow, you know, this is um, uh, so many, you know, particularly if you watch news all the time, you watch the CNN all the time then uh, the fear increased because uh, you just hear about, you know, oh, this thing happened, you know, the famous people die, you know, da, 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 da. So, so you know, that that is uh, already part of the battle. That's why the law always tell us, fear not, fear not. You know, every time, you know, he show up, you know, that fear not. You know, because uh, when you have no fear, you know, you, and then you can turn to the law, right? Mm -hmm. 
。Hello。嗯。啊 ，you know, so this is a woodcut, you know, of the、uh, attack of the city, you know. Now, Lakeish, particularly Lakeish, you know, is very famous because ah,、uh, uh, they have a whole room devoted to um、uh, the, the invasion of Assyria against Judah. And、uh, so this is the uh, uh, British Museum.、Um, you know, I don't know if you've been there, but the、uh, British Museum has a lot of a、uh, big、uh, showroom, and they devoted one big room about a city, particularly about what's going on. <laughs> I don't know.、Oh, okay.、Uh, so the siege of Lakeish. Another one is the lions hunts. You you know、uh, the reason why、uh, the Assyrian will、uh, successful in war is、uh, because、uh, they practice the art of war. You know how they、uh, practice the art of war. They go out all the kings.、Uh, they go out to、um, the general. They go out to、uh, uh, have lion hunts. They kill lions. You know, every day they kill lions. Go out and、uh, on, on chariot and on 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 foot to practice killing lions, because there are so many lions. And you know why they have so many lions? Because、uh, used to be, Iraq was、uh, all forest. You have to have forest in order to have lions. If you have forest, then you have animals, and animals、uh, you have enough number of animals, then you can have lions. So that's why Middle East now there's no lions, because、uh, Iraq is now desert. You know what I'm saying? Literally, you know, if you look at the Iraq War, they are all deserts. The the city of Lebanon, the Mosul,、um, all those are、uh, nearby、uh, lands. They are all、um, you know. Ah,、uh, you know, desert, hot desert. Uh huh. But used to be, they were, they were, ah,、uh, they have lions on their city wall. They have lions on their, you know, all the um, they they have a、uh, zoo for lions so that they can kill more lions. So you know, you remember Danny was in the lion stand. You remember David, when he was young, you know, he killed a lion. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then and then、uh, Samson, you know, he killed a lion, bear hand. So you know there were so many lions. You know, lions just just a big cat. You know, but、uh, you know in order to support the,、uh, you know, all these lions, you know, then you have to have、um, forest. So you know you remember you know we just read something about, you know, the law will say you know we I'm going to burn all the forest. The glory of the forest are gone, you know. So that was a、uh, part of the prophecy too. <laughs> See that? Uh huh. <laughs> oh, by the way, th this is a good,、um, you know, picture, you know, because the British Museum is now closed temporarily because of co、uh, Corona. So you know, this is um, this is a recent、uh, picture. Are you moving your screen? We just stuck on the first screen. Do verse five to seven. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Okay.、Uh, are you are you there now? Oh yeah. Oh, the PowerPoint. <laughs> Yeah. I, I apologize. No, I'm 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 not I'm not good at that. But well, <laughs> where's your pictures? Yeah. Which slide、uh, the, you on now? Yeah. Okay. You know that was the picture. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that was the picture.、Yeah. You know the British Museum. You know, and、uh, so you know, yeah. Now,、um, so、uh, we are getting on. Are you are you looking at? Are you? Hey, wait. Oh, Gabby. Yeah, I I don't know. You have a meeting. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Um.、Uh, yeah. We have a Bible study. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's listen.、Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I just saw it. Okay. Okay. Thank you.
So going back, you know, you, you remember, you know, previous uh, words, you know, uh, in yeah, actually is in the last, <coughs> you know, he's, he said uh, that's part of the judgment on uh, Assyria is he's going to cut all the trees. So, you know, by now you see the Iraq, you know, there's no tree, no more forest, no more lions. You know, all the lions is in Africa. <laughs> the Lion King, you know, is all African, you know. So Middle East have no lions, okay? <laughs> now, uh, so he, he mentioned many times about the, uh, uh, this very day, right? Now, uh, so, you know, uh, you know, they send an envoy and then meet um, uh, the envoy of Hezekiah. And then, you know, and then, um, you know, he said all these things. And then can someone read this for us? Uh, verse 18 and 18 of chapter 36. Chapter 36. No, verse 18? Yeah, it, it's also on the screen now. I hope it's on the screen. Are, yeah. you, are you looking at that? Yes. Yeah, okay. Can you, can, uh, uh, how about uh, uh, Pastor, uh, uh, Pastor Timothy read for us? Okay, I can read from 18 to 21st. Yes. 18, beware at least a headfire, mislead you by saying, the Lord will be a deliver us. Has any of the gods of the nations delivered his land out of the hand of the king of Assyria? Verse 19, where are the gods of Hamas? And up had where are the gods of Shavian? Have they delivered Shamaria uh, out of my hand? Who among all the gods of these lands have delivered their lands out of my hand? That the Lord shall deliver Jerusalem out of my hand. Verse 21st. But they were silent. And answered him not a word, for the king's command was, "Do not answer him." All right, thank you, Pastor Tim. I mean, yeah, uh, you know, this this is not chapter ten. This is uh, actual history. The the envoy was so proud and say, "Hey, you know, your Lord will deliver us." No, don't don't listen to Hezekiah. You know, uh, we already conquer all this land, all the idols, all the gods they have, no good. And that's what he said, right? Now, you know what? how Hezekiah got away with it? You know how Hezekiah got away with it? Well, Hezekiah heard it, but they were silent and answered him not a word. For the king's command was, do not answer him. Well, what, what's that mean to us? Well, what's that mean, you know, spiritually? Okay. Um, you remember uh, in Old Testament time, there are many times, like for example, Elisha uh, have held a woman and, and that uh, woman that, um, uh, you know, uh, gave lodging to, uh, uh, I say, um, uh, what's his name, you know, uh, Elisha. Okay, and uh, so you know, uh, uh, he prayed for he, uh, her, and then uh, he ha she has a son, and then when the son grown up, and the son died, and then and then the the woman sent the servant to go to Elisha, and then she followed. Right, you remember that story? Yeah. And then and then when people ask what's going on. Even Elisha asked, what's going on? She lost you were not fine. Hello? Hello? You remember what happened? Well, what happened was uh, she kept quiet. She didn't say anything. You remember that? Yes. yes. Yeah. Now, uh, King Hezekiah did the same thing. You know, because, uh, you know, uh, there is um, some lessons about that. Uh, you know, uh, the king, uh, the, the Judah, which is the tribe 
uh, from the son or you know the the twelve sons, the twelve son you know uh, the uh, the number four sons, the number four son is Judah. Now you remember Reuben is the first son, and then Simeon the second son, Levi is the first son, and then the fourth son is Judah. Okay, Judah means praise, praise the Lord. So. You know, one of the thing big deal is, you know, you don't answer evil with evil, and so you know, Judah, you know, uh, for which uh, Jesus came out, you know, uh, on the on the uh, genealogy. So you know, uh, something you know about you know, you use your mouth to say things that you don't want to happen. So when you are in trouble. Where you're in a dire street, you have to be careful about your tongue. Uh, in Proverbs 18, 21, uh, can someone read for us? Right here. Proverbs 18, 21. Yeah, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its food. Yes. Thank you. Uh, you know, this is uh, 1821. This is God's word, okay? Now, something about the tongue. You know, in the original Hebrew, uh, the tongue is uh, spelled, uh, you know, Lamet, Shin, Wow, Lan. And uh, they all have a pictorial meaning. Uh, Lamet means uh, um, authority or power. So the tongue has the power of death and life, life and death. Now, so what does it mean? Power 1821 says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat its food. You know what that means? Well, if you say, uh, if uh, you say, oh, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Uh, you know, I, I'm not going to make it. Then you would end up uh, getting it. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, uh, you know, like, like for example, you know, if uh, if you uh, you know, I'm just making it hypothetical, okay? If uh, someone uh, came to the doctor, uh, some some doctor, you know, I'm I'm saying, you know, doctor is all for good, okay? But you know, sometimes the doctor will say, oh, uh, you're getting old, you're getting old. Uh, yeah, this thing uh, kind of happened, you know. Uh, so uh, most people, you know, 25% uh, not going to make it. Or, you know, some, some friends get a corona and they're going to say, oh, uh, oh God, you know, this is bad, you know, uh, you're not going to make it. And then you agree. If you say it, you agree. Then uh, the devil know that um, you, you already uh, surrender. Because the devil don't know what you're thinking. You understand? The devil is not God. The devil is only an angel, a fallen angel. So the devil don't know what you're thinking. Lord God know you what you're thinking. But you know, if you, you say things to the contrary of the glory of the Lord, and so you are agreeing with the devil. You understand? So so what what he is basically saying is when you are in a situation you know, there, there is, um, you know, some trouble in life or some something. Uh, if you not, you cannot say, thank God, just don't say anything. You don't have to say it. You, you can talk to the Lord. You can tell the Lord anything. You know, you can say, Lord, you know, I, I don't have faith. You know, you need to help me out. I don't know what to do. You can say that. But don't, don't tell Tell the unbelievers, don't tell other people, uh, you give up. You understand? So I, I, Hezekiah is practicing, you know, his faith. You know, because the faith is in the Lord. The Lord Thomas said 30 years before, before he was born, you know, or, or you know, when he was small, you know, that uh, uh, Jerusalem will be surrounded. But, you know, but you know you you have to look unto the law, okay? Now, 
This is the same question. Why was only science safe? You understand? Because you know all the small towns, all the surrounding towns, they are Bible towns, but they they were not safe. You know they they were over they were over uh, overrun, right? And uh, you know there's a you know uh, you know, enemy in your town. Okay? So what happened to the, all the surrounding towns? Well, they 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 were, uh, you know, temporarily uh, under the in the valley of the death, shadow of death. Hey, can right. I make a suggestion? Uh, yes. If, if if people are not talking, they put their microphone on mute. I I can't hear. You. If if you. We are not talking. Can you put your mic on mute? Oh, oh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. You guys, uh, yeah, put put uh, mute, mute your uh, own. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I think. The, uh, thank you, you Jesus. Yeah, thank you, really. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, if, yeah. If you're the host. You can mute everybody. Oh, I can mute them. Yeah, you can mute all of them. Oh, I, well, see, you know, I'm I'm still learning, you know. Okay. Well, I I'm gonna let you guys mute yourself, okay? You know, I I'm all grace, okay. <laughs> now, so so what happened? You know, now you know we need to ponder about that because um, this is also our time, the 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 situation for our time, because uh, we saw people get sick, you know, we worry for them and we pray for them, but you know we need to think, hey, you know, how come Zion was safe and then not what happened to all these towns, you know, when some Bible story happened, right? So what happened to all the other towns, okay? And then, and then we need to think about, well, did uh, Isaiah give us some hints what, what to do, okay? That is also important, all right? Well, what happened to all the surrounding towns? Yes, it hurts. Many suffer, some die. You know, and you can say this is also applied to every generation. Now, the the Corona do not just uh, um, attack the uh, unchristian countries, the pagan, the heathens, but it's also affected the Christendom, right? So you know, we need to think about well, you know, so so what that means, you know, the what does it mean? The law would uh, protect us and save us, okay? Now, in the New Testament, Sion mentioned is mentioned seven times. You know, seven times uh, is um, is uh, there has meanings in seven times. But uh, you know, I'm not going to waste time on it. Okay, seven. You know, many of uh, uh, stuff in uh, Revelation is seven, 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 seven. You know, so it's uh, God's. You know, really like that number. You know, in seven days in a week, you know, so on. So. But you know, we, we and then we we are not going to be able to study all seven of them. But I just want you to know, this is the, uh, you know, the, the the one of them, right? This is the book of Hebrew, chapter twelve, verse twenty-two. Okay, uh, but you have come to Mount Zion, Zion, and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innum innumerable company of angels remember that so in chapter uh, uh, chapter 12 uh, the book of Hebrews uh, you know the Bible talk about two monks mountain monk yet one is the Mount Sinai the old covenant one is the Mount Sion what is Mount Sion Mount Sion is Jesus Mount Sion is where Jesus is. Now, you know, of course, uh, in Old Testament, you know, Mount Sion is talking about the earth, Jerusalem. But, you know, Hebrew is saying, hey, you know, up there in heaven, there is the heavenly Jerusalem. That's where Jesus is, right? In, in fact, you know, the Jerusalem in original Hebrew is plural. That means there are two Jerusalem or more. <laughs> so uh, at least two. So there's a, Earth, Jerusalem, we see a lot of trouble still over there. Then there is the heavenly Jerusalem. That is the city of the living God. That is where Jesus is now. 
he seated on the right hand of our father. So Mang Sion is talking about, you know, you, you look to Jesus. You know, hey, by Jesus, that you are saved. Not, not just from the sin, but also in everything in life. You know, so you are in trouble. You know, someone is in trouble. You know, they are, they are people that are hurt by the corona or something. And uh, they need uh, help uh, in, you know, um, you know, whatever situation. Well, you know, you cannot just go to meat mash or go to uh, lake cage. You know, I, I, even though, you know, there, there are things that happen in the old Bible times, they're not going to save you. There's no meaning in it because there's no Jesus there. But you look to Jesus, you know, you can run to Zion. They could, you know, they, but, you know, some of them chose not to. They want to, uh, to be in there, you know, wherever. So, so Zion is, um, have that meaning. Now, also, think about that. The law, how come they allow King Assyria hurt Judah so much? You understand? You know, because uh, almost the whole, um, whole country uh, were wiped out, except by the grace of the Lord. You know, the, the capital was kept, right? In fact, well, you know, uh, by the time uh, it's all done, you know, the, the uh, invading army, the invading army, they, um, uh, they left. Well, actually, they died. You, you, everybody know the story, right? Um, in uh, chapter 37, uh, one day, you know, that's why in that day, <laughs> in that day, one day, 185,000 Assyrian soldiers all died in one day. And so the, the king of Assyria, Sennacherib, have to leave. Okay? Okay. So, uh, now going back to the uh, Shia Yasub. Now this is, uh, this is the Isaiah reason. This is the reason, you know, he didn't say it out loud, but the Bible say it, okay? Uh, remember, uh, uh, Isaiah have two sons. I told you about that. The first one is Shia Yashu. You know, you already heard that, you know, means the remnant will return. And the second son was in the ch next chapter, which you already read. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 3. One is 7, one is chapter 8. And his second son's name was born. It's called Maher Shalah Hash Bash. Okay, my Hebrew is not, not that good, okay. But it means, you know, you, if you look up the um, strong, the concordance, it means swift booty, speedy prey. Now, the remnant will return is not that good, you know. Like you, you got to just change back, you know. Not all are safe, not all are blessed. But the second one, hello, the second one is the, the chapter eight, you know, the second son is called Swift Booty, Speedy Prey. Now think about that. Well, that means, uh, you know, you go get a good return. You know, you, you put in one, uh, you put in this, you put in this prayer, and then you're going to get hundredfold. You're going to get, uh, you know, the blessing, double portion. You're going to get a, uh, you know, somehow, you know, it works. Now, what, what's the difference? What's the difference between the first son and the second son, right? The first son uh, is not so good. Well, okay, uh, some might survive. There's, you know, maybe a few survive. You know, that's the first son. And the second son, wow, you know, it's like, uh, you know, joy and peace. Uh, you're going to get a, a double over. You're going to get, a, you know, a lot of return, blessings, okay? Yeah. Now, in between the two sons, Isaiah mentioned a prophecy or Emmanuel. You understand? You, you go back to chapter 8. I don't have time to go back to chapter 8. But between the first son, mention of the first son, and the mention of the second son, 
Hello, you guys are here. Uh, there is the prophecy or Emmanuel, our Lord Jesus. You understand? So that means before Jesus, they are under the L-A-W. Before Jesus, they are under the curse of the law. So if you make it, it's a berry. Uh, well, you know, I hope uh, it works. You know, you don't have to work very hard, you know. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, you know, I am clean all the time, da, 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 you know, no, no one to help you out. And then the second one, after Jesus, then the Lord bless you. The Lord has taken all your suffering and pain and trouble. If you believe him and uh, according to your faith, according to your faith, you know, he, he can bless you, he will bless you. you know, okay. But so, you know, uh, I can also show it from the rest of the Bible. The rest of the Bible uh, also say, Abraham had two sons, agree or not. First one is Ishmael. Second son is Isaac. And who is getting blessing? The second son. Now, Isaac also have two sons. The first son is Esau. Second son is Jacob. But somehow, don't know why. Well, you know, we know why, you know, it's uh, by, you know, Jacob's uh, own hand, you know, but, uh, and, and the mother too. But Jacob got blessing. So the first son, not so good. Second one got blessing. And then, you know, the funny thing is, this also happened to uh, when uh, Jacob, uh, when he's dying, he blessed the, the sons of Joseph. And then he blessed the younger son, Ephraim. Now, you know, all those things were repeated for reasons. You know, you remember that? So, you know, so if there were so many number of people, uh, uh, examples, that means, uh, you know, the Bible is trying to tell you something. And then actually Jesus always say that, uh, well, uh, he, he said a few times, he said, uh, Yes, uh, the, the first will be last and the last will be first. And then no one, um, you know, kind of figure out, well, are you talking about this? Are you talking about that? But, you know, that is the spiritual influence. So, well, you know, what does it mean for us? Well, what it means for us is if you are under the LAW, under the law, then you are not so good. The first one, the old confidence is uh, how to judge you. But, you know, well, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe some remnant will return. The leftover will return. You will get the leftover. You know, you go to uh, uh, Costco and then you spend uh, $100 and then uh, they give you 275 back. Right? You know, that is a remnant will return. You know, remnant means also the remainder in uh, math, you know, in Hebrew. So, you know, that's your change. You know, that's your change. So, you know, in the old covenant, you, you, don't, you don't get everything. Okay. And then uh, in the New Testament, in the new covenant, because of Jesus, yes, the Lord is with you. The Lord will bless you. If you, you look to him and then uh, he, he will try to, well, he's not trying to, he, he is blessing you. Okay. So, it means according to, you know, um, <laughs> according to this, Shir Yashub means remnant will return, and, but the second son of Isaiah, you know, God, the Lord uh, used his family, also has a picture of the Bible, Bible parable. Okay. You guys got it? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So, now, this is, this is uh, Paul has been teaching it all the time, you know. So in chapter 7 of um, uh, Romans, you know, he said, well, you are either under the law, L-A-W, or you are married to Jesus. You are, you, when you were first born, you were born, you are already stuck with the L-A-W. You are under the curse of the law. So, so you are either married to the law or you are married to Jesus. Okay, we are believers. We qualify. We already qualify. Okay. 
the only problem is our 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 mind. You know, our mind say, hey, you know, we want we want to make sure. You know, we want to do something, so uh, we qualify more. And then so, a lot of times, you know, we we um, still trying to go back to the LAW. Okay. In, so in uh, in uh, Romans, you know, the whole chapter was spent on that. Say, if you are married to you, you are you are you are with Jesus, is hundred percent, then you will bear fruit to God. And then if you are still trying to uh, work your law, your work uh, your ten commandments, you were trying to do things to earn a blessing, then you will bear fruit to death. Okay. Now that also means in Galatians. You are. You have a choice. You have a choice. Well, you want miracle or not? You want miracles? Then either. Well, you you have to understand. You are you you have uh, two ways to in the spiritual world. You are either by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith. So if you want miracles, you will never get any, when you, under the law. You 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 trying to earn it by the law, then you won't get miracle. You understand? Okay, that's the Galatian. That is why you know in uh, many parts of the Galatian, it it state clearly that Christ already paid. He said, "Redeem us from the curse of the law." You know, but in uh, in Isaiah time, they are still under the curse of the law because uh, Jesus was not there yet. You know they rely on the, uh, you know, look to the bond slate. They rely on, you know, look to God. You know, look to the miracle. You know, that uh, they are not. They don't deserve it. You know, they then uh, they they might be, you know, somehow get the mercy. But you know now it's automatic. You know if you, if you believe Jesus have, pay for. Pay for you, and bless you. And Christ will become our effect to you. But if you still try to be justified by the law, then you are fallen from grace. Okay. Now I don't want to waste too much time. You guys can think about it. <laughs> See, this is another uh, uh, war. One of those uh, war uh, fascia, uh, or, you know, that uh, they 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 they. they uh, you know, get it from the, um, uh, the you know, the war or whatever. You know, they, those, um, um, you know, I, I, I guess, you know, they just uh, got it uh, from, uh, you know, in 19th century. This is how they do uh, uh, practice war, uh, uh, out of war. You know, they uh, shoot lions. And if they know how to kill lions, they say, well, you know, I, I can beat anybody. <laughs> But well, now they don't have lions and they don't have forests. <laughs> it's all desert. Now, so in the last chapter, I mean last words. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Well, you know, uh, in uh, Isaiah chapter two, you know, he mentioned uh, Lebanon, and chapter ten, he closing with Lebanon, and then. You know, Lebanon is referred to as if uh, they are like high and mighty, proud and lofty, right? So, and then the law come king upon everything proud and lofty, and it shall be brought low, and upon the cedars of Lebanon, which is the mighty, right? And the oaks of Bashan, and all the high mountains. Lebanon is the highest mountain in the, uh, one of the highest mountains in the Middle East. So in Israel, uh, why now, you know, the highest pawn, you know, I, which I believe, you know, where he was uh, transfigured is uh, the Lebanon, the, the, the Mount Hermon. And Lebanon means white mountain. Now, remember, he, he said he will cut down the thickets of the forest. You know, that's the last word, and Lebanon will fall by the majestic one. Yeah, so even a high mountain is nothing compared to the law. The law transfigure up on the high mountain. And and all the thickets, all the forests, all the men's work, you know, they all they all, they all perish. You know. Now uh, in uh, the last words 
he's talking about the forest and the, and the mountain, right? Uh -huh. uh, you know, the forest is like the highest point, you know, it's, um, you know, like uh, Mount Whitney or uh, uh, Yosemite, you know, um, you know, the majestic one, you know. And then on the next uh, chapter, verse one, he's talking about, there shall come from a rod from the stem of Jesse and a branch shall go out of his wood. So he's talking about Jesus. Jesus come out from the branch and the branch is called Nazareth because Jesus is the branch. Lazarus is the branch tongue. Lazar means, that's why it's called Nazareth. Lazar. Lazar, la yan, yeah, so. <laughs> so, so NASA, NASA means branch. So Nazareth is uh, where he, he was born. I mean, not born, he grown up. <laughs> See that? Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have to skip this. I, I, I didn't get to finish this, but uh, uh, actually this is, uh, you know, my uh, first slide. You remember? Because today is Nissan 10. Uh, this is from uh, some, some, you know, so uh, this is not March 33, you know, this is, um, uh, you know, back calculate to um, Jesus time, you know, eight, 33 AD. And uh, Nissan 10 is today, it's the Palm Sunday. <laughs> you, you understand? You know, I, I, you know, those uh, that come in, uh, uh, on time, you know, that you saw, you know, my sharing on the first. So today, after the six o'clock is Nissan 10, which is the day, you know, the um, uh, every house of uh, Israel, they would um, get a lamb from the market and then they would keep the lamb for, you know, the five, four or five days um, before he, he was killed, you know, the lamb was killed. And it's like Jesus come in to his house, God's house, on the Palm Sunday, on a donkey, and then, and then uh, you know he would be examined by the priest, the high priest. So no one accused him of being fake or false, because all the miracle is real. And then you know they challenge him on the law and this and that. So it's like checking if uh, he has any brainage. So so today actually is the. Um, um, you know, the, uh, the Palm Sunday. <laughs> okay. Now, I know it's nine o'clock, you know, I don't know if you have time for a bonus, you know. Uh, if you guys want, you know, I, I give it to you. If not, then uh, we're going to close. Any, anybody want to hear, um, you know, a few more minutes thing? Yeah, I don't mind. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, this is a bonus. Okay, this is a bonus. And then uh, we're going to close. Okay. Now we know Jesus is the same. Jesus is the same. Jesus is the same, past, present, and future. You know, so, you know, he doesn't really change too much. Well, in fact, he doesn't change. <laughs> you know, um, in uh, Israel, um, in Israel, there's, um, Han, there's uh, actually um, uh, one of those uh, commune Community is like a, uh, they call it kibbutz. You know, that's where uh, a lot of you can join a kibbutz and then work their farm and garden and then um, get a meal. You know, and then you know, kind of live together like, like the you know commune. You know. And the 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 name of the commune is exactly Shia Yasu. <laughs> the woman will return. <laughs> you know, remember the first son of um, I Isaiah. You know, Shia Yasu, you know, so, so they thought, uh, oh yeah, you know, we just use a Bible name, you know, that's nice, you know. And the location is not far from uh, the border of Lebanon. This is the border. Are you guys looking? Yes. Yeah. So this is the border of Lebanon. This is the Shia Yasu, okay. In fact, can Mount you, Herman is there. Can you make it bigger and larger? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to try, okay. <laughs> I mean, just... Go to your bottom. Get a full screen instead. Oh, 
uh, get a full screen. Okay. At the bottom of your, at the bottom of your slide. Yeah. Okay. So like a like a slideshow or something. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, that's better. That's much better. Yeah. Yeah. Thank so you. yeah, share your soup is here. Okay. And then Mark Herman is here, right? See Mark Herman. Okay. Uh -huh. That, that's the way I believe, you know, that Jesus and um, his uh, three disciples, Transfigure, uh, you know, something happened here. Okay, and then actually you see all these, all these, um, uh, now the, um, like the uh, slow, slow um, skiing lift. These are the skiing lift. These are the line for present the ski lift because um, in the, in the uh, winter, you know, they, they slow. Remember, you know, Lebanon means a uh, white mountain. In fact, Laban, Laban and Lebanon have the same word. Laban is uh, the, uh, the uncle of uh, who's that guy? Jacob. And then Jacob married two daughters of uh, Laban. That's why <laughs> Laban uh, loved a white sheep. You know, you, you know he, he want, hey, you can have the spotted sheep. You can have the striped sheep, you know. But uh, all the white one belong to me, you know, Laban, you know, because uh, his name means white. <laughs> La Lebanon is the same word, word, so that's why the white mountain, you know, Lebanon. Now, but going back, you know, Shia Yashub, right? This is this is an actual place, all right. So what happened in 19, 1997? 1997, uh, that was the time when uh, the Israeli army invaded uh, Lebanon. Uh, he invaded Lebanon twice. I mean, uh, the, the country. Uh, the Israeli army, you know, um, had been uh, very successful defending the, you know, their own country uh, so many times, right? You know, and then a lot of times we say, oh, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the, the Jewish people are very smart, you know, which is true, you know, they're very smart, uh, but uh, they are very, uh, you know, uh, successful, you know, they da da da, you know, they, they always always uh, give credit to the, to the, you know, soldiers and, uh, you know, the Jewish, uh, you know, country. Now, but, you know, it was like, it, hello, it was like, uh, you know, that when they defend uh, their, their own country, they have um, like one tank against 50 tanks. You know, to me, it's not because of their smartness, it's because of God was with them. God, God helped them to bring them back to Israel. So it's God's plan. God's plan to bring them back to Israel as a part of the uh, end time, you know, uh, to, to make uh, everything uh, happen according to the Bible. So they were very successful defending, defending the country. But, you know, when they invade Lebanon uh, in 1997, uh, there were two uh, helicopter crash and they hit each other. And they hit each other in, right on top of that sheer Yashub. You, you understand? So, so, you know, they, they, they say, Wait a second, you know, we never have so many people die, you know, it's only seven, 73 people. But, you know, the, the strange thing is this, the strange thing is, uh, in, the, in the way they read the uh, uh, Bible in the Old Testament Torah, in they read the Torah every week, uh, the whole uh, world, they read the same passage in the synagogue. Uh, F, you know, they, they have a schedule. So they, they would call it half Torah, half Torah, in the half Torah. That means uh, they read uh, the week before, and they, they, they were reading the Isaiah 7 the, 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 the You know, the, then they said the Lord unto Isaiah, go forth now to meet Ahaz, thou and share Yashub, thy son, and say to him, take him and be quiet. Be not, neither be faint-hearted on account of the two tails of these smoking firebrands. So, so, 
they they were reading it right they were reading it uh, on the saturday before on the sabbath before and then this accident happened and then they say wow you know this uh imply you know that uh, the shia yashu things is also a prophecy for that accident well, you know, of course, uh, you can argue, you know, you believe, you don't believe, you say uh, God's word, uh, well, maybe it's accident, maybe it's whatever, okay, doesn't matter. But the whole point was that because of that, they finally figure out, they say, they're not supposed to invade Lebanon anymore. So they pull out the army in that same year. You, you understand what I'm saying? So in other words, the modern day uh, history is also you know, under the prophetic influence. You know, they, they want to wipe out the Hezbollah, but apparently it's not in God's plan. So, so when, well, because uh, 73 people is, is a lot to, you know, uh, you know because usually they, they don't have that many people die, you know, in their fight, defending, defending. But when they in wait, that's a different story. When they invade, suddenly, you know, that God's uh, help is not there. So, you know, on that year, 1997, uh, they, they, they start to uh, pull out the army from East uh, Lebanon. So, so that's what happened. So remember, you know, one of the things is, you know, it's better not to you know, if you have a trouble uh, or, or someone have trouble, you know, just pray for them, bless them, comfort them, but don't, you don't have to answer, you know, it's, if you don't know how to answer, don't answer, you know, just talk to the Lord, you know, because uh, you, you tell people, especially the unbelievers or people that are believers, but they don't really believe too much then uh, you, there's no help to tell them, you know, their, their prayer is not good for you. The, your prayer to Jesus is most important. It's your relation with Jesus. That's how you get blessed, how you get miracles. Okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's my two bits, okay. Okay, let's close in prayer, okay? Yeah. Lord Jesus, I thank you uh, that uh, we have this time uh, coming together in your name. And uh, thank you, Lord, because uh, we... We are seeing the world is getting darker and darker, but uh, we know that we know that you are with us. You love us. You, you already promised that um, you will never let us go, because you know uh, we we are we are your uh, chosen people because your love and uh, you came. Uh, you spare not the father, spare not your your own son. You know how would he not give us all these things? So Lord Jesus, um, I just pray for everyone that attend, uh, everyone, um, uh, the family also, that uh, you bless them with uh, protection, their shalom peace, and uh, that uh, they look to the Lord. Because uh, nowadays, you know, you already said, you know, you want us, you want to um, come into our hearts to be with us. And we in here, we I in you, and you in me, and you you love us that much, so that we are one uh, with the Lord, because the Lord is my shepherd, and the Lord is also wing shepherd, the Lord is also giraffe shepherd, but it's always one to one. The Lord loves us this much, yes. Uh, so thank you, Lord, and I pray for blessing for everyone, everyone, uh, that they hear uh, the sound of my voice that. Uh, that you bless them and uh, uh, you would uh, be with them in the coming days, that uh, they look to you. They don't, they don't look to the CNN, they don't look to the uh, even the governments uh, for help because uh, uh, the help, the only true help is coming from the Lord. So uh, we, we look to you, Lord, that uh, we, we would uh, keep our quiet and then uh, just uh, um, uh, that uh, we, we look to Jesus. Uh, we look to Zion because uh, Zion is our eternal home. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, blessing Amen. on everyone. Amen. Amen. Thank you, David. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>
I, I'm sorry. I, I, you know, I, I did not know. Uh, I didn't share, you know, a, a portion of it because I, 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 you know, I was moving forward, but you know, I did. Uh, my apology. <laughs> no, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, for next week, does anybody want to volunteer to leave? Good job. Thank you, Dave. Thank you very much, too. Uh, so next week, well, anyone wants to step up and to lead Isaiah 11? If, if no one, I won't hear again. <laughs> You know, because uh, of the, uh, you know, coming up with uh, the good Friday and all that. So. Yeah, go for it, Dave. Huh? It's okay? Oh, yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Okay. No uh, problem. Huh? Okay. All right. So, uh, 11. Uh, yeah, I'm going to work on 11, too. Yeah, thank you, too. Okay. Thank, thank you, David. You. Thank yeah. you, David. Hey, have a nice week. Uh, the Lord bless you. And uh, you know that. Uh, Jesus, uh, you know, came in uh, with obedience, um, you know, like on the donkey, you know, willing to, uh, you know, go into a slaughterhouse, you know. So, hey, so he's already paid. The law is, is uh, with you for eternal. For it's, it's not just for this, for that, you know, it's uh, eternal life. 